you can pan around here, you can just see the different angles, the compound angles that the, the probing's getting into. Traditional systems, limited to five degrees or seven and a half degrees. This system's infinite. Now, you've all seen CMMs before, but I bet you haven't seen a CMM with a robot attachment quite like this. Now, I'm here at the DMG Morit UK Open House in Coventry, and we've run into Chris from Mitatoro, and we're going to get a bit more details on this. So, Chris, what is the robot actually doing on this CMM? Well, this is our shop floor CMM, and we're just showing the concept here of the buzzword around automation at the moment. At the moment, lots of customers asking about automation, and this particular head does head touches. It's an infinite angled head touch machine, which allows us to complement the DMG machine tools as well. So this was the right machine tool to bring along. Its accuracy stays between 10 and 40, it maintains the accuracy between 10 and 40 degrees as well. So really suited to the shop floor CMMs and really in, uh, suited to an environment like this. Now, obviously, with a five axis machine, you're gonna be trying to measure holes, pockets, in all sorts of different angles. So, with the head doing its little flick, does that just make it easier to program as well? It does, so we've got MCOSMOS 5, new CAD software in the background as well, but if you can pan around here, you can just see the different angles, the compound angles that the, the probing's getting into. Traditional systems, limited to five degrees or seven and a half degrees, this system's infinite. So it allows us to measure all the customer's features different angles and again complements the five axis machine tool and I like what you said this probing head can do an infinite number of touches no limitation whatsoever so it can now obviously that's the head and don't get me wrong that is so impressive but what's the robot actually doing on this CMM so we're getting asked more and more by our customer base for automation the machine tool guys are coming to us also about putting measurement into the process closed loop systems making the system seamless for our customers. So this is our concept system. It sets up showing different, different palettes, just allowing the customers to see what we can offer. Now, obviously, you're loading flat plates with parts on with a racking that will take six. Yep. With this being a concept, I'm guessing once this is actually running, that rack will be able to be as big as you like. This can be anything. This can be a rack, a carousel, a pallet loading system. We've got a, uh, within Mitra Toy, we've got a team called MGT. They're an integrator for these sorts of systems. So they allow us to go to customers, look at what they require, and then take it to the market. So they can have absolutely anything they like, depending on their requirements. So when a customer is with Mitra Toyo and they have a problem, you actually have a team to solve that problem. A full team, the best team. <laughs> now that's something we don't hear very often. Yeah. Now, Obviously, this is your shop floor CMM. Yes. But I just want one quick question before we end. You do a full range of CMMs, though, don't you? So we do. This is quite a baby as well by what I've seen in the past. Yeah. So what other CMMs do you actually do for the market? Well, the, the market demands different variations on measurement, and, and you're quite right. We do bridge machines and shop floor machines. Bridge machines from first term actually statements at around two microns right down to under half a micron. So we've got a full range of machines to complement, again, the level of work the customers are trying to drive. So if somebody's investing in one of these machines, let's not beat around the bush, yeah. they're not cheap, no. but you get what you pay for. Absolutely. Then really, they should invest in one of these as well to get the best of both worlds. Exactly that. It's, and they can talk to each other, and the process can be slicker, and I think that's the future.